The death of a two-year-old girl in a fire earlier this week has now been ruled a homicide. And the fire department is facing some criticism for the way it responded to that fire. Michelle Fiore is live with that story. Well, Shannon, the fire station closest to the child's home wasn't fully staffed the night of the fire. It's a common occurrence in Milwaukee known as a brownout. And that's not to say that a brownout is responsible for the toddler's death, but it's certainly raising some eyebrows. Two-year-old Tanasia Morgan in this Facebook photo has died after fire trapped her and left her grandmother in critical condition. One alderman is questioning why. Budget cuts to the fire department years ago have led to what's called brownouts. That's when a fire station has the equipment in-house but no one to staff it. And we've been able for years to dodge these bullets, uh, but sadly, uh, you know, uh, we can't continue to do this. The fire chief admits there was a brownout to the station just blocks from Morgan's home. Its engine was not staffed. Alderman Donovan says that's the problem. Uh, the reality is, you know, you can't put out a fire without water. He doesn't know our strategy and tactics. Oftentimes, when we begin search and rescue, we begin search and rescue without water. The chief says truck 15 with its search and rescue crew arrived three minutes and 37 seconds after the 911 call. Engine 8 arrived just 15 seconds later, engine 9 about the same time, and engine 36 about five minutes into the call. Major cuts to the fire department, though, resulting in brownouts, began about 10 years ago. Well, I think we need to, first of all, eliminate the brownouts, find the money within the budget to do that. Milwaukee police have now ruled the fire at 36th and Silver Spring arson. So Morgan's death is a homicide. That pushes Milwaukee's homicide rate for this year to its highest number in 10 years. We asked the police chief for comment on that today. He was unavailable. Reporting live outside the fire headquarters, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle, thanks.